hey everyone welcome to this new project and in this project we are building a sleek and interactive movies info website using react tmdb api and tailwind css for styling our react so this project is perfect for anyone looking to improve their react skills and learn how to create stunning ui designing uh, with tailwind css so let's see what we have got here we have got a home page that uh, have a cover image which usually people call it a hero section with three nav uh, links we have home page movies tv shows and a search bar and just a dummy user login in account so we won't be doing login but if you scroll down to this we can see that we have got some movies there which are coming from the the movie database uh, api endpoint so we have got an endpoint now playing which is displaying all the movies that are currently playing and we have got popular movies we got upcoming movies and now not just the movies we have also got tv shows here trending shows we got popular shows on honor today and at the end we have got a footer here and as you can see on the movies we have got the movie image we have fetched the title of the movie and we have got the ratings the tmdb ratings of that movie so what else we can do with this app is we can search for any of your favorite movies or tv shows so let's search batman so if you'll search you will see how the ui interact with it so if we go batman you can you can search anything related to batman that's available on the endpoint and where the pictures are not available we will just render a image that will say the picture is not available and we have got the movie the type of the search that is whether this is a movie or a tv show and a release date so let's try to search something else if we come back clear the search we are back to the home page uh, let's search spider-man then we will get everything related to spider-man let's search tv shows we will search for squid games and if the information you are searching is not available we will render something like this no result found so if i just randomly type anything that means no result found so good practice for the user experience and what else we can do if we can go to the movie section and we have got a loading as you can see this cover image also changes dynamically so every time you change uh, your page or browse through the app you will see that this cover image also changes dynamically if i go to tv shows this will only render tv shows so if i go back to movies and i come back to tv shows you will see there will be another tv shows and all we can see here is all the tv shows and the best thing about this app is that it's just not rendering the information like these cards what we can also do with it we can click on any of these movies to get a detailed uh, detailed information about that particular movie or a tv show so if we click on squid game we will see this pop-up which will have a backdrop path fetching from the database as well we have got the name and we have got the slogan from it and the genres and everything release date of it and this is just an overview we have got the cast and we have got similar shows as well so this pop-up shows the detailed information about that selected picture or a movie or i mean the tv show so we got breaking bad as well this will change to breaking bad released in 2008 and cast and everything now one thing is different with the movies because with movies we can also fetch the available videos so if we click on sonic we can also see the trailers here so yeah, i can actually play the trailer if i want to let's just mute it before youtube just try to strike me so yeah you can also play the trailer for the movies let's play it for the legendary craven so it's showing the information about the craven we have got a title um, the slogan of the movie we also got the run times for the movie so this is all this information is actually genuine and realistic about the movies it's not hard coded everything is coming from the database we are just displaying it to the user this is what we're going to learn how we can do it within this project and along the way we will also explore how to fetch movies and tv shows uh, from the database how to create reusable component in react for displaying movies and tv show and styling your application with tailwind css so we're going to learn a framework called tailwind css you can see the ui here the nav bar and these hover effects clicking on these everything this is all done with tailwind css i haven't used and plain css or style component if you are a returning subscriber so you may have noticed i have created a similar project before this this is the one 
did this one was created with the help of style components and this was a very long project so i'm trying to um, create a shorter version of this a better version of this project so basically it's the same thing but this is a better and shorter version of this because in this we are not able to interact with this app not able to search anything we can just export different pages and we can just see the information but with this app this one what we can do we can actually interact with it so yeah that's all we are going to create a home page to display the trending movies and tv shows we will browse uh through the pages so we will create this movie and tv shows you can see it's also indicates that you are now on tv shows now you're on home page and then we have a detail pop-up and then we have a search functionality in this app and we have a responsive design so yeah one thing i forgot to mention that this is very responsive so you can see on a smaller device we have a hamburger menu here and we can go to movies even here you can see the movies below and we can also search here so i'm just gonna search batman because i'm a huge fan and you can see that all the information there so yeah that's it and then let's get started into this project